So puzzles solve a lot of things for us. So on the one hand, it's risk management. Uh, by that is having made a decision on the type of beta exposure you want or asset class exposure you want or investment opportunity you want to be exposed to, you can either do that through an active manager or a passive product. With an active manager comes manager selection risk. For the right timing of that particular decision, you could easily destroy some value it doesn't really matter how much it is from the active decisions. So passive does come in, in controlling the manager selection risk. Um, so that's very, very important to us. I think the second part of it is, I think also just visibility around decision making um, of the process. So a lot of these passive solutions um, have good rules around how they're constructed, how they capture the various market drivers that you want, which also active managers do. But I guess there is much more visibility in the passive space than you would find in the active manager space. So I think for us, just visibility of our decision is actually made sometimes is very important and then i think in this low absolute return environment we've just been in probably still are there costs become very important or the proportion of costs as a percentage of the total return increases so to increase net returns to clients when returns are generally low one of the easier ways to do that is to bring in passes where you probably get the same outcome but at a much lower fee we started using passive products inside of our portfolios about seven or eight years ago we primarily bought them into the portfolios to make sure that the asset allocation decision we were attempting to get is the asset allocation decision we actually got in the end. We found that some of the products we were using prior to that led to too much deviation around our equity decision, bond decision, property decision, and we found that by bringing passives into the portfolio we could more accurately get to the asset allocation decision we were trying to make. We first started to look at passive investing when we could move funds offshore because you had such a broad investment universe and we needed to try to narrow it down for clients. We didn't want exposure to all parts of the market and we definitely wanted to be have a lower beta than, than the market itself. So this is where we really started to look at quality factor funds, um, low volatility funds, momentum funds, just depending on what the client really required in their portfolio. What changed our perspective on smart beta index investing in South Africa was that it becomes quite hard to explain to clients, look, if you're stock picked, well, this went wrong or, or this went wrong, and you didn't really have a good methodology to explain why it happened. The second thing is that the, the, our access to research um, as, as portfolio managers has declined because so many offshore banks are closing and, and that we don't have research houses anymore. And, and simply because we're living in such a strange environment in South Africa at the moment, um, it is very difficult, even though we train to do it, to keep your emotion as a portfolio manager out of in investing. So these funds become very, very valuable for us because they're methodical, um, they're, they're rules-based, they've been back-tested. It is something you can explain to a client. Um, it is something that all else being equal will probably get you a better optimal um, outcome than a portfolio manager who's just getting very nervous about South Africa. <laughs> <laughs>